Hello, um, this is Elma here, and um, according to the title of my next video, you know, already know what I'm going to talk about. You have a, um, those of you that follow my natural hair journey, you know, I've been natural for over four years now. Okay, you know how you have some people that have been natural on and off, um. Sometimes they always cut their hair or relax it over like that, whatever have you. And sometimes they rant about how um, their hair won't grow. So they'll just throw a relaxer on and the relaxer do even more damage then they become natural again. And then when people give them advice on how to, you know, maybe, you know, the ways that they could stimulate hair growth. They be like, oh, I've been natural for like over 10 years, so I know what I'm doing. Apparently you don't. But those are the type of people. Why in the hell? Folks like that or females with damaged hair always want to do my hair. Hell no, you ain't doing my fucking hair. Uh-uh. If, um, I don't know, if I ain't never seen you with no healthy hair or at least grow your hair to your shoulders or, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's hard for me to let someone, I'm already picky about who do, do my hair. I don't go to, really go to salons anymore. Especially now I'm natural. Hell no. It's only pretty much one person I let do my hair. And that's my girlfriend. But in that, that's just basically braids and things like that. Other than that, mm -mm. hell no, you ain't doing my fucking hair. I remember one time I was in school. Um, you know, I was in job court. And one of my roommates, she was doing my hair. At the time, I was relaxed, of course, and my hair was a decent length. It was like maybe shoulder length. It was like, it was like a bob cut, because I used to always cut my hair in impulse <laughs> back in the day. I used to like rock the holly berries and stuff, and I used to always keep my hair cut. And, you know, I go to the salon once in a while, but I, you know, let my hair grow out. It was like about shoulder length. You know that hairstyle back in the early 90s? With the part in the middle and stuff. Yeah, I used to rock that hairstyle. So, one of um, one of the females there, right? We were cool and everything like that. But, you know, she kept her hair short. But her hair was, like, always damaged looking. And she was, like, she saw my roommate doing my hair. My roommate had long hair. She all, even to this day, we're, we're friends. We're, we're cool. She always had long, thick hair. So, so the one with the damaged hair kept begging to do my hair. I, I, I was like, mm, I'm good, this and that. And she had like she was mad at me because I wanted to let her do my hair. I'm like, you don't even take care of your own hair. So, my roommate pulled me to the side was like, you know, you shouldn't let nobody do your hair when... You know, they don't really take good care of their own hair. You should never do that because they'll mess your hair up. And a lot of times, a lot of females are try to set you up to fuck up your hair. And I know professional hairdressers, professional stylists that have told me this. They have heard conversations from other fucked up stylists. If they see you, they don't like you, they plan on fucking your hair up. Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna go into that probably in another video on my other channel. But yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes they put shit in conditioners and stuff. They they purposely do things or 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 mix nail with relaxers. Oh yes, but hell no, you ain't fucking up my hair. I ain't barely got no edges. I'm trying to grow my edges back. See, I got hair, but I'm trying to grow my damn edges. And for you to try to but the rest of my hair, hell to the motherfucker now. You ain't doing my hair, so don't ask. But you ain't braiding my hair? Mm-mm. If you the type that, you know, woman that you natural, then 
um, you relax your hair, you know, that's fine. That's, I mean, do what you want to do with your hair. If, you know, you natural, and but you frustrated that your hair won't grow, whatever like that, because you ain't listening to nobody, whatever, that's on you. But don't try to offer to do my hair so you can fuck it up. Mm -mm. I'm not having it. You ain't messing up my hair. I worked this hard to even get my hair to this point. Okay. Mm -mm. You ain't fucking up. My, you, you ain't doing my hair. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, you go through your journey. Everybody got their own journey. That's on you. You, you want to get frustrated. It's okay to get frustrated with your own shit. That's fine. But don't see somebody else progressing. And you want to fuck that up. Because subconsciously you like, hmm, I'm low-key jealous. My hair won't grow in her way. Her, her's flourishing. I'm going to fuck that up. No, you ain't touching my hair. Sorry. Mm-mm. You're not touching my hair. No. Don't have an ex. Well, I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out.